Welcome to another edition of North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and my guest today is good friend Leighton O'Connor. Leighton, welcome. Thanks for having me, Walt. Well, you're Great welcome. to be back here again. Great to have you on the show. And uh, <clears throat> for those uh, regular viewers of North Shore Journal, they will know that uh, you've been on as a guest several times. Yes. Uh, you uh, uh, regaled us at a previous occasion with your beautiful uh, uh, videos and, f uh, and photographs of international sailboat regattas, where you, you, you did that all around the world. And uh, you also uh, uh, did some work as a missionary and came on the show and Correct. told us about the work you've done in Africa and Central America. Digging wells, funding wells. Digging wells and rehabilitating uh, schools mm -hmm. uh, and doing other philanthropic work. A real Renaissance man. To try, <laughs> and now you have a new endeavor, which is written on your 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 sweatshirt. They're called Mission for <laughs> Hope. Maybe Correct. we can start off, and I can ask you tell us a little bit. What is Mission for Hope, Layton? So uh, back in September, I got a jeep, and um, I actually did my ministry work, half of all my classes, in my jeep at the beach in Rye, New Hampshire. So I did seven ministry classes sitting at the harbor in Rye, New Hampshire. Uh, and it took me about six weeks to finish up my ministry work with the Assemblies of God. And after I finished all my classes, I said to myself, or I asked God, what else can I do with a Jeep? And he put this burden on my heart to help the homeless people. Uh, so uh, that's where I came up with the name Mission for Hope. Mission for Hope. Uh, and because I've been helping homeless people on and off since the 80s. Mm -hmm. My first uh, time I was working at a 99. And the owner back then, Charlie Doe, was a very generous person and had a heart for the homeless. And he raised money for the Pine Street Inn in Boston. Wow. This was back in the mid-80s. Right. And I actually helped fundraise for the Pine Street Inn back in the 80s. And then I uh, actually volunteered at the Pine Street Inn mm. uh, dishing out meals. Right. Now, fast forwarding now, Mission for Hope, as it says on your on your sweatshirt, you are going to be visiting in your Jeep right. 30 cities in 200 days. Correct. So tell us what that's about. So in September, <laughs> I started planning a mission trip where I am going to go to 30 of 30 cities in the United States which have the highest population of people experiencing homelessness. Okay. And I'm going to do it all in my Jeep. So on June 9th, I leave Linfield, Massachusetts for my church, yep. Calvary Christian Church, and I go from uh, Linfield to Indianapolis, uh, and then Ch Chicago, and then Denver, Anchorage, and then down from Anchorage to uh, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, uh, some cities in between uh, San Francisco and L.A., then San Diego, Las Vegas, and then uh, I'm learning the United States very well. Uh, now. You are. <laughs> I can, I can <laughs> and, tell. Then the Phoenix and Dallas and along the Panhandle down to Key West and back up the East Coast. Yeah. Now, I can see where your trip takes you across the northern part of the United States and then down California and through the south. But what, what, why the Anchorage thing? That seems to be a lot, a lot of extra driving. Well, is it, is a, it, it is a problem it, with it, homelessness. And yeah. this is about uh, awareness as well as research. And it's yeah. going to 30 of the cities which have the highest population and seeing which programs are reducing homelessness yeah. uh, as well as helping the homeless. Yeah. Uh, so it's about awareness and research. And what I'm also doing in each city, I'm going to have an event on a Saturday where I meet with the Jeep community. There's a whole community of Jeepers. I didn't know until I bought a Jeep last year. <laughs> I'll bet. It's huge. <laughs> uh, just along here, there's three different Jeep clubs, and they have meetings twice, three times a week. Yeah. So each Saturday, I've arranged to meet with Jeep clubs someplace in the morning and meet with a bunch of Jeeps, fill up our Jeeps with stuff. Um, I'm uh, donating hygiene kits 
Uh, I've got Beantown Blankets is donating 50 blankets per city, drops, drop shipping the blankets into each city. And the Jeep people are going to provide water, coffee, baked goods, and fruit. For yeah. each stop. Yeah. Now your and your 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 Jeep is specially tricked out, if I can use that term. Uh, and we're gonna we're yeah. gonna we're gonna go out there. It's parked out in front of the studio, so right. we're gonna take a little walk out there and have you show us around at, at a little a little later part in the in the show. And um, now, what 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 gave you the specific idea of this this Jeep uh, Jeep trip, uh, Leighton? God. Okay, so I put on my art. Uh, that's where where the burden came from, and he says I want you to um, work with the homeless again. Yeah, and I want you to use the jeep to do it. Yeah, and I want you to do something unique, which is going to bring people, make people aware of the homeless situation, and particularly the jeep community, um, the very compassionate people. Yeah, and bring them into the picture as well as people following me for 200 days around the country on my uh, all my social media. So you are going to be. Uh keeping us uh, uh, in touch with you Correct. or keeping your community here right. or everybody that wants to stay in touch with you through social media mm -hmm. as well. And we'll get some of those, uh, uh, some of those uh, URLs and other things right. up in a, in, a little, uh, in a little bit. And now how, how big for those people out there, I mean, we, we hear about homelessness kind of all the time, right. but it seems to be kind of like in the noise level. It doesn't really reach the consciousness like this is a big, huge issue. What, 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 is, what is homelessness like here in the United States or in the it's, statistics? It's horrible, or, horrible. So tell us, tell us what so, you're... So uh, New York has the highest homelessness problem. Uh, most homelessness, and there's 75,000 people that are New homeless. New York City. New York City. Yeah. Uh, and uh, L.A. is number two, and they're a little bit below that. Uh, and the homeless, homelessness has to do with a couple different factors, uh, whether it's uh, mental illness or addiction. Some people are chronically homeless where they want to be homeless. They don't want to be in a shelter because they don't want to abide by the rules of the shelter. Um, some people have cut all ties with their families because their families have kind of reached their wits with them, so they have no place, no family to be with, no friends to be with, or they have addictions, um, and most shelters require you to be dry to go into a shelter, no drinking, no drugging, mm -hmm. yeah. that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you're, you're, um, are, are you sending out advance notice? I know, I know you say you're working with the Jeep community right. in each town, but are you sending out a notice like to city officials or people that, who's this, you know, all of a sudden they get a report that there's some kooky guy handing out donuts <laughs> over on Main Street. Uh, are, are, how, how are you handling that part uh, of it? I'm not re reaching out to the, the city officials. I am reaching out to a few shelters. Yeah. to let them know I'm going to be the area, and I'm going to have allow some time so I might be able to volunteer at some organizations. I actually did a kind of a test mission trip to Tennessee in uh, February. Yeah, tell us about that. And I went yeah. for three weeks, mm -hmm. and I took a week to get down to Nashville. And what I do is every night I stay, most nights I stay in a forest. Mm -hmm. Not a campground or not a state park, a national forest. And there's no facilities, no outhouse, no showers, no picnic tables no fire rings, barely roads, and I stay in, stay in my Jeep or tent or whatever, and this is how I bring people into my world. They get interested in seeing me doing things in my stock Jeep in the woods on dirt roads. <laughs> Why don't you just stay at the local motel? <laughs> you want to pay for it? <laughs> I really enjoy, I've been camping since I was a small kid, and, yeah. and I really, really enjoy being in the woods. And, yeah, and it's you know. So what I did is I took a week to, to get down to Nashville, then I prearranged volunteering at some organizations that help the homeless, and then I did outreach while I was there in Nashville. I st actually stayed in a hotel for a week in Nashville, <laughs> not a very good one, but a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, after I left uh, Nashville, I went to Memphis did some outreach. Yeah, and then I took a week to get back to do my thing in the woods again. Yeah. So so after this shakedown cruise, if I can call it that, what, right. what were your main, did you did you learn something that you perhaps didn't know or or, or something that, that, that caused you to say, okay, this is what I've got to do or this is how I've got to approach it? Tell us, what were you learning? Well, I, I learned that, that homeless folks uh, 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 prefer tangerines over oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Easier to peel? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Easy to carry. Uh, I don't mean to make light of the situation, but uh, I, I learned... Um, couple things. So one of the organizations I, I volunteered was a Monday night in Nashville, and they did a meal to mm -hmm. 300 people. Yeah. So we helped prepare the meal, get the meal into the vans, and drive 
the vans into the city, set up for the meals. But they also had shower trucks, which I thought was really interesting. Uh -huh. So they had two shower trucks, and each shower truck had four showers on it. Yeah. So these folks could go in and get a shower, and, and uh, they would provide some other things like you know toothbrushes and all that kind of stuff. And I and and they also provided haircuts, as well, and also provided clothes. And the shower trucks I haven't seen too much of. So uh, this, the research I'm learning, I've already investigated what it would cost to, to develop a shower uh, truck and uh, have it done maybe in Boston. Yeah. So these are the types of things I'm learning about. Um, yeah. And the next night I, I was volunteered at a, a, you know, with an ex-country singer. Uh, and she started a ministry 12 years ago called Ministry Under the Bridge. So every Tuesday night she has live worship music. Mm -hmm. And a church service under a bridge, mm -hmm. and she gives out. There was a hundred volunteers. Gives out a meal, uh, food, and clothing, wow. as well as ministering to the folks. Right now, you you mentioned the service. So you are going not only are you going to be handing out these necessities, these uh, these kits and 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 uh, food, but you're also going to have a actual ministry, a service uh, for the people. Well, on the on Saturdays when I'm doing the outreach, I always ask. You know, I'm not pushy about it, but somebody where they are spiritually. Do you know Jesus Christ? Do you, do you get to mm -hmm. church? Mm -hmm. And if they want prayer, mm -hmm. um, I can do that. Um, there was a gentleman in, in uh, Nashville, Tony, came rolling over one morning. He'd been in the rain for three days and he was in his wheelchair. And you know, I spent some time with him and prayed with him and called his aunt back in Florida and provided him with some old boots I had that I had just gotten I didn't need any more, and some food from our food pantry, and a hygiene kit, and spent some time with him. The next day, I called his aunt in Florida and sent him some pictures of Tony and let him know he was doing okay, and uh, kind of saw where it was with, with his walk with Christ. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's wonderful. I hope, if I get the funding, on Sundays to be able to do a Jeep church service, so oh. wherever the Jeep is, actually do a service, maybe with the homeless folks. Yeah. I've actually, Garvin Rack has donated a rack for the top of the Jeep, which I hope to make into a, an altar, okay. and uh, somebody's volunteered to put a floor on it, but I need to come up with funding for speakers, cordless mics, okay. amplifier, mixer. All right, well, let's let's talk about that. You're looking yeah. for some funding. Correct. So, uh, and I think you said you're looking for about $30,000, uh, roughly. So how can people, give us give us some uh, websites or give us some, some phone numbers about how people can help you uh, with sure. this. Sure, uh, thank you. Yeah. So I'm about... Uh, the whole trip's going to run about 30. I'm about at, I have about 10 now. Okay. And the website's missionforhope.us. Okay. And the website has lots of information, has right. videos, has photos. It does. It's a wonderful website. Yeah, it has yeah. uh, my whole route. Uh, it has all my social media. Be, social media will be live on that website. Right. Uh, and there's a uh, page called Support and Donations. Okay. And there's several PayPal options. There's a monthly reoccurring PayPal option. Okay. There's a GoFundMe. Yesterday, I uh, just was approved by the IRS as a 501c3. That came in the mail yesterday, good the letter, you. so All we're right. good, good on that. You. So legal it's legal <laughs> tax deductible, and I'm an official nonprofit now, so people okay. can mail checks as well. So they are, so people yeah. uh, send those checks to you, those are, they right. can deduct that from their taxes. Uh, and also, I have an Amazon wish list, so people can go on and buy things that I need for the trip. Right. So let's, let's repeat that. So it's www.missionforhope.com. U.S. That's you right. Had not com and not no. uh, edu. Right. It's dot U.S. Mission yes. for Hope dot U.S. And um, uh, you know, before we go any further, I think what would be interesting is for us to go outside. Okay. And let's go and 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 you viewers, welcome to come with us. We're going to go outside and we're going to take a look at your specially equipped Jeep. So stand by. We'll be right out. So we're out here late uh, with your uh, tricked out uh, Jeep Sport Wrangler. So why don't you kind of <laughs> give us a little tour around the Jeep and tell us what special modifications okay. you have for your, well, for your trip. One of the first things I did was add decals, uh, just to kind of announce the, the mission. Uh, I got a vanity plate. Um, right now it's got a stock bumper on it, but last night somebody donated a bumper and a winch. I do a lot of, this is pretty much a stock Jeep and it's, Except for the tires, everything's pretty much stock on it. And I go into the woods with a stock Jeep, and I really shouldn't be going in the woods without a winch and without other equipment, which I'm working on getting donations. So the winch is used, which will be on the front, is if I get stuck in the mud, I do a tire, tree saver around the tree, hook up, a, hook up the winch line, and pull myself out of the mud. 
Uh, what else? Uh, got a CB inside. Um, in the back, right now I've got the spare tire off, but I got special backup lights so I can see when I'm back up in the woods because I do that a lot. Now, I noticed uh, you have a GoPro up there. You want to? Right. Uh, yeah, we can do the inside in a minute, but let me show you what I got up back here. Uh, this will hold seven gallons of water. And this took me about four months to design everything because one, one of my goals is to, is to be able to take the, the top down. So I wanted everything pretty low in the cargo area. So I use this to get water. There's not water in there right now. And then I have a refrigerator that plugs in, uh, 48 uh, quarts, and so it's pretty big. I have a portable toilet. <laughs> Okay, we uh, believe you. <laughs> I have a privacy booth for the toilet in case I'm not so remote. Uh, sleeping bag, tent, chair. Uh, if I happen to boondock at a Walmart, I got a screen for the front and screen for the sides so people can't see in. I've got a fan. I've got a electric blanket. Uh, I've got a tea kettle that plugs in so I get my water in the morning and, and have coffee. Little... I've got a little table here. Um, cutting block. My two burner stove goes on here. In here I have enough food for a week. Two burner, uh, two burner stove, pots and pans, plates, everything you can imagine in here. That's the old and Coleman st uh, camp stove, right? That's actually a new one. The one I was using when I started jeeping was about 25 years old from camping and the flames started shooting out of the knob <laughs> so I had to get a new one. Uh, and there's a sleeping bag, the electric blanket, chair and actually when I'm in the woods a lot I've thought of everything yep. I've got a squeegee for my back window <laughs> now what about insect repellent what about mosquitoes uh, so I've got a couple <laughs> things uh, people go on my Amazon wish list and last week they got me these uh, these mosquito things I forget what you call them but they're yeah, nets that go yeah, over right. and somebody also bought me a lantern which has repellent in it ah. then I can spray on repellent yeah and uh, you've got the, the vanity plate there yep, and hope. Zach can uh, zoom in on that uh, hope US hope US and then I've got the whole Jeep wired with uh, 12 volt outlets every place oh okay so okay. there's two outlets back here so I can plug in my phone when I'm having dinner there's actually a table I can have my dinner at uh, and then I can plug in anything else so I can cook while I'm driving back here as well and then in the front, I have four outlets for 12 volt. I can plug various things into, and five hubs for USB. Yeah. Uh, over on the side here, I've got a GoPro mount. I use a GoPro a lot when I'm doing videos for YouTube, and I used them a lot with sailing. And now I'm using on jeeping. So this is kind of like a road level GoPro, so that if you're going through the woods oh, yeah. or whatever, you get a you get a tick's eye view of, right. of, of the weeds and things. So I try to blend the different shots together because I put a GoPro on the dash and sometimes it's facing me, sometimes it's facing forward. Mm -hmm. But let me show you what I have inside here. And so, will you be... Where would you be without a hatchet right next to your seat and a flashlight? Yeah, where would you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's where I keep my hatchet. Uh, up on the phone, up on the dash, I have the uh, iPhone, which has the Gaia app I use. They're a sponsor, and I use that for finding all my stuff in the back country. I've got a CB. I've got a special mount for the laptop, which I don't use while I'm driving. And then I have a tablet, which has an app called Torque and it Bluetooths into the engine so I can monitor everything on the engine. Uh, sometimes I do GoPro Live while I'm driving. Um, and then I have a three drawer unit on my passenger seat, which I keep GoPro stuff in, maybe a few things to cook with, batteries, all kinds of stuff. And on top of that, I can also put my Hot Logic, which is right there. Let me go around the other side and show you the Hot Logic. You just stay right there. So this is my little hot logic here, and it's got a little Pyrex dish in it, so I can pour anything I want in there, make meatballs in it, and everything goes right in here. And then uh, this plugs into one of my 12 volt outlets in front here, and I just uh, put everything in there. I can even warm up rolls on top of it, and I close it up. And I usually prepare my meal around 3 o'clock, and when I'm in the woods, by around 6 o'clock, my meal's done, and I'm ready to eat. I don't have to break open the stove. Well, that is convenience yeah. there, isn't it? That's, I'll yeah. have to get me one of those. <laughs> so I have various things. I have headlamps, which I use in the, at night, or if I'm making repairs and managing. Mm -hmm. I have a special custom trash thing I made, because you get a lot of trash when you're driving five, 600 miles a day. <laughs> 
Now you'll be you'll be uh, reporting back uh, like with videos and, and images right. like every day or every other day. What, uh, what do you expect that you might be doing? I, there? It depends on what I'm doing that day, but I usually post something every day. Definitely in my blog every day. Uh, sometimes it might be two, three uh, posts to my Instagram, Facebook, and my Twitter mm -hmm. per day. Mm -hmm. And it depends. I've got about an opportunity to be in front of a quarter of a million people between the 150 Facebook groups I belong to in Jeep communities, as well as my four Facebook pages, my personal page, my three Twitter accounts, and my Instagram account, my YouTube channel, and my Tumblr. <laughs> yeah. Now, are you? Uh, is the is the Jeep uh, modified in any way, like suspension or or? Not yet. Or, uh, it should yeah. it should have a lift kit um, for when I'm doing off-road, but it doesn't as of yet. Maybe someday it will. Uh, but it's it's relatively stock for for what it is right yeah. now. Well, this is this is fantastic. Uh, oh, this lately. is my, this is my, I used to use this in sailing. I was one of the first persons to use, start using GoPros in sailing. They actually sent me cameras for all the yeah. contacts they made for them. So this, I put a GoPro on the end. <laughs> I, I remember that. I remember the footage and when you the, showed us. When yeah. the roof's off, I mount it on the roll bar, and that's where my GoPro goes. Yeah. Or I can also, if the roof's on, mount it on the mirror like this. Uh, so that gets some amazing footage, and you can actually see me driving. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, uh, why don't we go back inside and uh, finish our interview? And uh, Sounds good. Thanks, Walt. Well, that's <laughs> that, that's some vehicle you got out there, yeah, right. uh, Leighton. Now it, you uh, you can't sleep in that, can you? I didn't see a I hammock can. slung. I you can, can in, uh, if if you have to, huh? Well, I've got a tent and a uh, sleeping bag and uh, an air mattress. Yeah. But sometimes uh, when I just pull in the woods, I just recline the seat. Yeah. And uh, what, I, what I showed you out there, the hot logic is which I cook in while yeah. I'm driving. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, so they're actually you... a sponsor. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> so what happens is I put my food in at three o'clock, and this little hot logic that plugs into the car, and yeah. the food cooks. And by the time I'm in the woods, my dinner's done. Yeah. And watch a little movie and sit yeah. back, catch up on work. Now, you do you have do you have maps, or do you know where you're going to be staying, or do you just kind of drive into the woods? And... Uh, I use a special navigation called Gaia. They're a sponsor as well. Oh. Okay. And it's a map on my iPhone, and hopefully I'll get an iPad, and it will be on my iPad because it'll be bigger. Mm -hmm. But it actually uh, has 50 different maps, and I can layer seven maps uh, on top of each other, okay. including aerial, satellite, uh, where the trails are, where the mountains are, everything. Where the Dunkin' Donuts are. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a map for that. Uh, so when I'm in the woods, and I download all the maps, because a lot of times when I go in the woods, there's no cell service. Yeah. So I can actually see where I'm going. I did that down in the Everglades, and there was barely a road. Yeah. 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 So are you are you looking like when you come back from your trip, uh, are, are you going to be like uh, debriefing with local folks, local homeless folks to maybe share some learnings or? or well, this Mission for Hope isn't just about the six month trip. It's a it's going to be an ongoing program in which I can develop programs nationally and locally yeah. to reduce homelessness as well as helping the homeless people. Yeah. It's just not about the six month trip. Oh, what, a, what a wonderful agenda. Yeah. What 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 uh, this is this is wonderful stuff. And now let's just for the for our audience, um, let's remind them again if they want to donate and let's remind them of, of your website. It's um, www.missionforhope.com us and uh, it's a wonderful website a lot of uh, there's a picture gallery there yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go right there mission for hope and um they can donate you're looking uh, you're looking for sponsors and mm -hmm. uh, uh to to help fund this and you're you're obviously not going to carry everything with you so you're are you like shipping so stuff ahead of time to i've uh, purchased 1250 hygiene kits which are about okay. this big okay and they have male and female yeah. And they have toothbrush, uh, razor, antiperspirant, shampoo, moisturizer. Yeah. And those are going to be in a storage unit. Yeah. So my volunteers back home will ship, when I need them, 50 to each city I'm going to be in okay. two weeks before I get there, yeah. as well as energy bars and any supplies I need on the road. Because the Jeep, as you saw, it's... It's pretty. It's only a two door. I mean, yeah. Most people don't do what I'm doing in a two door. Yeah. They do it in a four door. Yeah. So I have limited space. And then Beantown blankets, like I said, they're going to drop ship 50 blankets to each city for me. Yeah. 
And like tangerines, where are they going <laughs> to? So one of the things I, I do uh, when I do outreach is in the morning I hit all the Walmarts. Okay. And I fill up the cart with the reduced baked items. Oh, and okay. then I wheel it up to the customer service. And I look like a nut, of course. And I wheel up the customer service and I ask for the manager, bring the manager over. I ask him for any... Yeah. If you can do anything for free. Yeah. And then I also have, I get the water and the tangerines at Walmart as well. Yeah. Then I try to wheel and deal on that, fill up my Jeep with that. Then I go to a Dunkin' Donuts, get three boxes of Joe for the back of the Jeep, yeah. and settle up, and I have a table, and all the folks come over and enjoy. Well, so I'm trying to work with a sponsorship for Dunkin' Donuts and Walmart as well. All right, there you go. <laughs> if, if anybody from Dunkin' Donuts That's or right. Walmart is watching, <laughs> I so, got my hand up today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if if uh, if somebody wants to call you directly, yeah. or is there a phone number? Yes. Give us a phone number. Nine seven eight nine seven eight nine two one. 0887. Okay. So Can I mention my social media a little bit? Absolutely. Okay. Do that. Yeah. So I'm going to post quite a bit. I have a blog, uh, which you can sign up for on my website as well as link to it. I am on Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook. And, and it's, the handle is on all of them is Leighton OC, L-E-I-G-H-T-O-N-O-C. And they're all linked from my website, the bottom of every page. And I've been a social media consultant for over 10 years, so I think I get this pretty well mastered as far as yeah, posting live from the road. And my YouTube channel will have a video every couple of weeks of me doing stuff. And yeah. Who knows? Maybe Bev Cam will, will, uh, yeah, will nice. meet you somewhere on the road and, uh, yeah. and do an update from from San Diego or, or, or something. Good. Yeah. So, well, Leighton, thank you very much You're for welcome. sharing this with us. What a, what a, Thanks what for a, having me, Wall. I appreciate well, it. Well, this is... This is You've you, always you, been a big supporter, and I really appreciate well, it. Well, you, you, you do so much work, uh, so much great work, and you give of yourself, uh, thank you. Leighton, uh, and, I, and we, all, um, we all appreciate that. So, uh, again, it's uh, Mission for Hope, Leighton O'Connor, and... Uh, you, and you're leaving June? June 9th is the June big 9th. day. So today is, what is the 30, 30th of April? 30th, was, so uh, I've got about five weeks. Five more weeks, and hopefully yeah. we can, through this, uh, through this show, we can get you some more donations so Thank that you. You, can, you, can be, you can be rest assured that, that you won't run out of uh, supplies in That's the middle, right. of, middle of your trip. That's right. Well, Leighton, thank Thanks, you very Walt. much for, for being on our show. Thanks, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'd like to remind everybody that you've been watching North Shore Journal. I'm your host, Walt Kosmowski, and we'll see you next time.